Hey, this is Dorian Day, and welcome to Serum in Depth number four. Today, we're going to be going over uh, Serum's front page modulators. So, they're all in this section of the synthesizer right here. So, starting with the most obvious ones, we have three envelopes. And the curious thing about the envelopes is they have these little lights to show you where you are on the envelope and if you activate more than one at a time you can see them stacked behind each other for easy visualization and help line things up the envelopes overall are pretty simple. You just have attack, hold, decay, sustain, and release. And then these controls for the view, this locks it to the envelope. So you always see how it looks and you can adjust the uh, curves easily. And then this is for long range views, zooming in and out. Next we have the LFOs. Um, Serum's LFOs are pretty powerful because they all um, they act as an all-in-one for the three types of um, LFOs that Massive had, the performer, the step sequencer, and the traditional LFOs. So you can see right here, we just have a standard si or a triangle wave. But you can see all the other kinds of shapes in the presets, side chaining. And then you can turn it into a step sequencer holding shift and clicking. And then the performance by deselecting some of the curves. You can change the grid size to have more fine details. So these modes right here control how the LFO behaves. If you're on trigger mode and you hold the note, the LFO will keep running. And if you press a new note, it'll steal it and start over. Envelope mode is similar, except for when you reach the end, it doesn't continue back in loop. So it's like a one shot on your LFO. And off, the LFO is continuously running. So whenever you press a note, it grabs from wherever it is running in the background. Right here, we have BPM. It's whether or not your time syncs to the grid. Anchor only works with BPM. And what it does is it makes sure that any changes you make to this knob are synced to the grid so that you don't get any odd time changes. With Anchor Off, you can change instantaneously and get all kinds of weird glitch sounds, but this is a little more smooth controllable. Triplets put you in triplet time or add triplet time in. Same with dot. Rise sets a time um, that it takes for the LFO to have full influence. So it's almost like an envelope on the LFO. Delay delays the start of the LFO. And smoothing is almost like portamento on uh, the LFO. It makes it uh, smooth instead of these sharp corners. It makes it, I guess, probably look more like a sine wave. Next, we have velocity scaling. It's incredibly simple. 
effect. Pretty much how hard you're pressing your notes, but it allows you to scale it. Not many synthesizers have this. Uh, at least the curve, that is. Uh, same with notes. Follows MIDI tracking, so the higher you play, the more that it's going to modulate. Then over here we have the mod wheel. So uh, connects to the mod wheel on your MIDI keyboard. And then we have the macro controls, like in Massive. And that does it for the front screen modulators. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to go over the hidden modulators that you can only access in the matrix and then also go over the matrix.